Local news now. Efforts are underway to revamp the area around Lake Springfield, transforming the site of the old James River Power Station. Yeah, the lake was actually built years ago for the power plant. Now with that closed, it's providing an opportunity for a nice park, making the water a recreation destination. That's where we find our Parker Paget tonight with more on these plans. And Parker, they're saying they're asking for everyone's help for planning these ideas out. Yeah, Mike, Sarah, the project is expected to be completed in 2024, but I spoke to the project manager and she says that community engagement is what's needed the most. We think that there could be opportunities to really expand recreation and maybe have biking, walking, water type recreation that we don't currently have right here in the Springfield area. The revamping of Lake Springfield and the area around it is moving forward. Officials say the million dollar project will look at expanding and introducing recreational areas using the decommissioned James River Power Station and provide jobs. We're told they're also looking at ways to improve access and transportation such as road and traffic improvements. 80% of the funding is coming from a federal grant while the remaining amount comes from the Hatch Foundation and money already in the city's budget. Project manager Olivia Huff says feedback from the community is vital as they work in this area. Community input on this project is extremely important. It's important for us to hear from young people, people of all ages, backgrounds, socioeconomic statuses. I spoke to nearby neighbors and people at the park this afternoon, and you can see their reactions to the upcoming developments later in tonight's show. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Ozarks First. Thank you, Parker.